Did you know you can nudge objects around in Illustrator? You can. You can select an object and use your arrow keys to just move it around. If you hold shift while you use your arrow keys, it moves it around in larger increments, 10 times the default increments. Now, the increment that it moves is called a keyboard increment. And when you have nothing selected in Illustrator, in your properties panel on the right hand side, you'll actually see this keyboard increments in your preferences. So depending on the units that you have, if I have my ruler showing, I can right click, uh, select any of these units. Uh, it's going to give you an amount over here in those units. The nudge right now is one pixel. I can actually change that to whatever I want. If I wanted to be able to nudge 10 pixels at a time with a basic arrow key press, I can switch that to 10, select my rectangle, and then use my arrow keys. Now, what happens when I hold shift? Well, it does 10 times that amount. So now if I hold shift, it's gonna nudge at 100. So it goes from 10 with the arrows to 100. And you can also change this up in your preferences. So if we go to Illustrator down to settings, or on a PC, you go to edit down to preferences or settings. Uh, we can find in, I'm gonna select general because I'm actually not sure. Okay, general, it's in the general settings. We have keyboard increments right here. Now, my Illustrator document might be set up in inches and that might be why I see inches right there for the keyboard increment or my default might be in inches, one of those two. Regardless, what we could do here is say one and then PX for pixel and hit tab. Now, if it converts it to the current unit of your document, that's fine, but you can use the unit uh, modifier there. So PX for pixels or IN for inches to elect whatever increment you want. So if I wanted 10 pixels, I can use that tab and it's gonna convert that to inches if my measurements are different, but that doesn't matter. Whatever you want, you can type into that keyboard increment, hit okay, and that changes it there as well. So either here on the right hand side or in the preferences, the actual preferences. Now I think this document started as inches. So in the preferences, it showed inches. That's why it shows it there. But this on the right hand side, the properties panel keeps track of what I have selected here as a ruler unit. So if I switch that to inches, notice how the keyboard increment over here switches to inches. So that's why there was a difference there between the preferences of the document. That's based on whatever you have assigned to the document when you started it, if that makes sense. Anyway, that is a quick tutorial on how to change the keyboard nudge increment here in Adobe Illustrator and hold shift for the 10X nudge.